So when we start on a problem like this, we have to think about the nature of the equation. Because it's an x squared equation, it'll have two roots. It can either have two imaginary roots or two real roots. They're asking us to find k such that it has a single real root. But we know it has to have two roots. The only case that we can have an equation with a quadratic with one real root is if the numbers here are the same. Here, the root is 1 with a multiplicity of 2. The only root is that x equals positive 1. So that's an example of a case that's similar to this. So we need to find for our case here, x squared minus 10x plus k equals 0. What value can be set up such that x minus c times x minus c equals 0 and is equal to x squared minus 10x plus k. That's the basic setup we need. There's a couple of ways we can approach the problem from here. The way I would do it is to start in the middle. The numbers have to add to this, and they have to be the same. The only number that can add to negative 10 when added to itself is negative 5. So then I'd try x minus 5 times x minus 5 equals 0. I can FOIL this. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 5 times x is also negative 5x. That's what we were expecting. Negative times negative is positive. That's 25 equals 0. Combining these, get negative 10x here. The x squared can come down. x squared minus 10x oops, plus 25 equals 0. Now this is the same as our original problem, except instead of k, we have 25. And that brings us to our answer, k equals 25. So a quick note on the key points here. First, we looked at our problem and we realized because it's a quadratic function, it has to have two roots. In order to have a single real root, you must have two roots that are the same. So it's a single root with a multiplicity of two. Then we looked at our situation. We said to have that, it has to take this form. We looked at the number in the middle and said it must be a negative 5. The only number that can add to negative 10 when added to itself is negative 5. So we used a very logical approach. Then we tested it, and we found that it did work and gave us our answer of k equals 25.